Now we'll be continuing the solo Axton we've been doing previously. So we got up to the dust area on the story mission with the solo Axton here. Currently level 10. Almost dead. Ah, that looks like a decent uh, turtle shield. What are we using? Green turtle shield. I might go ahead and buy that. I'll have to be level 11, but that's okay. Catch you later. Ammo shop, rubberized Tesla. What are we using for a grenade here? We we got a flame grenade. We can get rid of this green one. So we've got a blue flame grenade there. That'll do. Let's have a quick look at our loadout. Level 7 Lance, so we're currently level 10. We might have some better stuff here. We've got a level 10 Hyperion Shotgun. Let's go ahead and use that. Level 9 Lasco. We can get rid of this level 5 pistol. And this is, this is the slag pistol we got from the Marcus mission early on, so we can hold on to that until we find some better slag weapons. As far as a class mod goes, we're using this fire rate one, gunner class mod. So we'll keep the fire rate class mods. I do like the class mods that give you a nice fire rate boost. We can go ahead and uh, maybe, or well, we'll keep this lands until, until we find another assault rifle weapon. It's good to have at least one type of each weapon so you can even out your ammo usage. And as far as items go, that looks fine. So let's sell off that stuff. There we go. So we're using the shotgun and the Lasco. That will be fine. So we have to talk to Ellie for the next part of the mission. We're currently level 10. What level is the mission? Level 12. So it's a little, we're a little bit ahead. So maybe we should go and do some of these other... Do some optional missions and level up to level 12. We have an... Uh, we have a optional one in Three Horns Valley we could do. And a bunch in Sanctuary. So let's leave this mission here. We'll go do some optional ones and level up a little bit. So let's three horns divide. There was an optional one three horns valley. So, have we actually unlocked that area yet? Okay, so we can go there by the look of it. So, let's go ahead and do that. So what level are these shops? Level 7. So, we can pretty much ignore the stuff in these ones. Let's get a car and go to Three Horns Valley. Let's, oh, we're getting shot. Make sure we go in the right way, yeah. So if we follow this road, this should take us to the map exit we need. Okay, this is Three Horns Valley. Let's go ahead and do this optional mission, why not? Oh, it's these, this optional mission, this motel area. So interesting to see what, oh, we've got to turn the power on, which is not a bad idea to do this optional mission anyway, just so you get access to these things, get the power going.
pre-recorded message ends. Feel the happy big motel, huh? Yeah, bloodshots wiped that place out, but good, after all, it kicked him out of sanctuary. You might be able to turn everything back on if you activate that steam pump. Turn on the steam pump. <laughs> oh man, the steam pumps ain't working either. I see your problem. And I'm gonna take this slow. See if there's so anything interesting in these there, dumpsters. Right? Sometimes you get lucky. You have a small chance chance to get something decent out of those dumpsters. Okay, now we've got to get the parts. Get the parts for the steam generator. But no enemies spawn here initially by the look of it. I guess once I jump up and get the part, we'll get some enemies, enemy bandits spawning. I've oh, got a grenade here. Rubberized grenade, but I can pick it up to sell. Okay, now we get the uh, get the enemies. Lasco is still level nine, so it's pretty pretty close to on level. Maybe not great from this distance. Maybe not. Even, maybe both of these weapons are not great for distance. We'll just keep going with this Hyperion shotgun. Although maybe not great for distance. Curious to see if we can get any work done here. Not really. But let's find something else. We can't use this sniper just yet. Let's try this uh, Meliway and SMG. That'll do. That'll get the job done. And being a flame weapon, it does a decent job early on. Another SMG. White kitty shield from that bandit drop. We don't need the gunner seat. This map does have a delivery mission on it, which I don't I don't like the timed delivery mission, so I never bother with those. Oh, I just jumped out of the car. I don't really need to do that with all these enemies around. Let's go ahead and clear out these enemies using the car. All of these skags. I guess I need the experience points, so maybe I should be killing these enemies outside of the car to get the extra experience points. Damn, son. Looks like I've got a bunch more skags. Let's go ahead and kill these just for the experience. Lasko is su surprisingly good, at least uh, early on. It was a great job, very easy to get as well. Turret doing a good job helping you know out here. Wait, is that weird? White Droog. Like now this might be decent for a... Level 9? White Droog. That might be decent for a uh, Sniper 0 build. Might just hold on to that. Maybe I can give that to my sniper, give that to my zero. And build up the critical ascensions with a low level droog. 
I didn't realise that uh, low level droogs were good for a sniper build for zero, so I didn't collect any low level droogs when I was a low level zero character. So I, if I see uh, any any low level droogs that look interesting, I collect them on other characters just so I can transfer them across to the zero. Okay, we got one more mission item here, the gearbox. Let me check the map to see if I'm going the right direction. So that's pretty easy. If I just follow this looping road around, I'll get there eventually. Hopefully this will meet up with the road again. This looks like the road we need. So we're back at the motel, driving past the motel. Here is the last one, so I might just jump out of the car, try to get some experience killing off these uh, enemies. And the Lasco does a nice job with these skags. Oh, we've got bully monks too. Oh, badass bully monk. He didn't last long with the uh, with the Lasco. So, have to keep in mind the Lasco is actually quite a good weapon early on and easy to uh, get an unlevel one, so I might as well use it. So, oh, we have, looks like we have all the pieces now. We can go back. Now, I wonder if save quitting is actually better. Oh, it's pretty close. I'll just drive back, it's not that far away. I think this is the map with the um, flint boss as well. Well, looks like you got everything you need to repair that steam pump. Uh, just plug in banana boats in and the bounty board will be as juicy. Doing that Dr. Z mission where you encounter flint and the e tech weapons. Replace a gearbox. And we got the steam valve and capacitor left to go. There's that one. I guess the other one's be down here. Oh, it's on the bottom level. Well, I did those out of order. Usually I do the bottom level one first, but it looks like it doesn't matter for the mission. You can insert the pieces in any order. This is a curious little thing. You got a little shrine here. You would think that you'd get something more substantial in this area. Seems like an interesting area, but you don't. There's nothing really great to get. This padlock is kind of useless. You can't really interact with it. This seems like they've put a lot of effort into designing this. Makes me think that this this was meant for some some mission that got got taken out of the game. Maybe. What does this say? F, I guess that's, uh, I think it's fuck you maybe, F star star K U. So yeah, this probably was for a uh, mission that got cut out of the game. Seems like you go, to, go through a lot of work to design that little area and then it doesn't actually amount to anything. Purple sun skin, we have this one. Okay, this is a timed delivery mission. I'm not going to do those. I don't like those missions. So we got the uh, power turned on, which is the main thing. So we can probably at this point go back to Sanctuary, do some of these optional ones here, and get some more experience points. We're currently level 10. It would be nice to get up to level 12. Then we'll be on level for the story mission. The next story mission. Let's go ahead, jump back to Sanctuary, pick up some of these optional missions. Oh yeah, I was going to farm Bad Moor for, for some XP, but I might, might have screwed that up at this point, doing that side mission there. Anyway, we'll leave that and we'll just go ahead and do some optional missions. Oh, hello. I don't mind these weapon, these uh, 
these Torg assault rifles. Only level 8 though. I think I'm going to leave it. If it was level 10, I probably would have bought it, but I don't really want a level 8. Do I have a do I even have a launcher at the moment? I may not. I don't think I do, so I probably should go ahead and have purchase some type of launcher. That's a level 11 shield, can't quite use it yet. Let's sell off some stuff. We're not really using this veteran class mod. Tempted to sell that, but I'll keep it until I find something better maybe. Sell off these weapons here. We also have a 11, level 11 Chinook we're not using. I'm going to go ahead and sell this. Uh, actually, we'll keep, we'll keep this level 7 until we find uh, another assault rifle. We have a green bandit launcher. Let's go ahead and buy that just so we have some type of launcher. We still haven't unlocked our final weapon slot there. We have this level 7 Droog sniper and we're waiting on this level 11. I feel like I can take on Hyperion by myself. Check these lockers for some precious iridium. There's one. We have six iridium, which is enough for an upgrade. Early, early iridium upgrades are worth four. So we can buy at least one thing with six. I like to get some of the uh, backpack upgrades early on. They seem to be the most useful before the uh, ammo upgrades. We can probably throw some of this stuff in the bank. Like this, we can't use this until a level 11. So we can throw this level 11 stuff in the bank for now. This a level 11 sniper. We can throw this in here. And we're not using this class mod, so we can. We've got plenty of space in the bank. We might as well use it for now. Skyrocket. We can throw that in the bank. Don't really like to use a sky skyrocket too much. Feels a little bit OP. I prefer to use the other grenades. Want to break some stuff? Okay, so we've got Cult of the Eternal Flame in memoriam. These are level level nine and eleven. Let's go ahead and grab that. So grab I those. Kind of inspired a cult, and not the fun ask you for autographs kind. I need you to infiltrate the children of the Firehawks and find out if they're planning anything. So I guess it, uh, in normal mode, the uh, levels for these missions are all fixed. It's not like ultimate Vault Hunter mode where the levels, mission levels are set when you accept the mission. So there's no real penalty for accepting these missions all at once because uh, the levels for these missions are, are locked in. I did make that mistake at least a couple times through Ultimate Vault Hunter, accepting a bunch of missions that I didn't do until later on. And the levels for those missions were locked into much lower than when I actually went to do them. So I have to remember when I get up to Ultimate Vault Hunter mode not to accept the side missions until I'm actually ready to use do them. We have a green turtle shield here. Level 9, I think I have, what's this one? Okay, so this is giving us bonus electrocute damage. I don't really care about that class mod. This other med shop has a couple more class mods. Assault rifle, magazine size and gun damage. A level 9 veteran class mod. Reload speed, magazine size. I do like the magazine size ones. But this gunner one gives me the fire rate boost, which is also very good. Maybe this is better overall for the at least early on. Oh, it doesn't really matter this at this stage. I'll just keep this class mod that I'm using. Let's 
see what Claptrap has here. Hey, a level 10. Minion, over here. Your master commands you. You helped me reach sanctuary, Minion. And for that, well, it would be good to unlock the uh, stash at least. So let's go ahead and stash very, very unlock the stash. I have that uh, low-level Drew that I want to eventually transfer across to zero. So I might as well get this stash unlocked because I will be using it. At least for the Drew. Oh, so it's pretty easy. You don't have to do much. I've got a bunch of junk already in the stash here. Well, I guess it's not junk, the uh, toothpick and the, uh, and the what, retainer, toothpick and retainer, useful for farming launches. Okay, it looks like the missions have jumped back to the story mission. We still need a few more levels. Okay, so we've got the bowl mission here. Might be a good idea to do this one. Oh, we're still too low for this one. We're not doing this delivery one. So we can ignore this one. Let's go ahead and ignore that delivery mission. And we might as well just go ahead and pick up the rest of these optional ones. There's no penalty for not doing them at this stage. Hyperion jerk bag trying to sneak into the city. Looks like they messed up his lungs. Dude needs surgery bad. Get over here. You're gonna be my operating assistant. All right, make a small incision just below his sternum. But be careful, we don't want to nick the coronary artery. Close enough. Still working on an iridium shard offer. Talk to Tannis. There's certainly a budding romance between Zed and Tannis in the uh, Commander Lilith DLC. I don't know whether that's hinted at in the uh, the base game, that romance between the two. As I've said, Roland, now that Jack has the vault key, it is only a matter of time until he opens... This lab smells of bacon. Bacon is for sycophants and products of incest. You know, if you're looking for work, I got stuff needs doing. Oh, okay, turn this one into Tannis here. One day I will find a usable... Well, come on back whenever you need some healing. As long as you ain't scared of a little tetanus anyways. Let's keep keep accepting these optional missions. Looks like Zed has another one. Like so, this could be the uh, the E Tech mission where you fight where you fight uh, Doc Mercy. Hey, I got a per You know what can make a bullet hole that ain't a bullet? Cause I freaking don't. I've been seeing some confusing wounds coming from Three Horns. Head down there and find out what kind of weapons cause them. An old rival of mine named Doc Mercy's using it. Don't let that name fool you. Unlike me, he's more interested in creating wounds and patching them up. Also, unlike me, he actually has a medical license. <laughs> so, level level eight. This is an easier this one. Is a recorded message to any crimson raiders in the area. Sanctuary. We might as well get some iridium upgrades while we're here as well. We've got six backpacks worth eight. What weapon am I using a lot of? I think I'll just save up some Iridium for the backpack upgrade. The level 8, uh, the uh, one that costs 8. Hello. 
I'd like a better one before my almanac goes to drink. Serve some bullymong bone pies, will you? I'll learn something about their diets and come up with a catchier name for the beasts. Looks like that's all the optional missions here in Sanctuary. Let's have a look what we have. Level 9, there's a level 8. Might as well just go through these. Go through the lower level ones first. Okay, so this is the assassin one. I think that's quite good for XP, the assassin the assassin mission. So let's go ahead and do that one. We are almost level eleven, so we can you we can almost use our new sniper and our new what else do we have some other level 11 thing might as well use the fast travel so we have a couple level 11 things we can use a shield that's what it was we have a level 11 sniper and a shield we can use Did we actually check these shops? We've got a flame grenade here, zero fuse time, a blue one. I guess that's not terrible. What are we currently using? We've got a level 10. Oh yeah, this, this is level 7 stuff, so I don't really care too much about this. Let's grab a car. So I guess we're going... Okay, yeah, we have to go through... Go through this little bandit encampment. I think we can just run straight through here if we want to, but we kind of need the experience points, so we might as well... We might as well clear it out. Where's the entrance? Back this way? No, it's on the other side, so we have to go around. So yeah, you can just run straight through this bandit encampment to the exit, but... We kind of need the experience, so we're better off clearing it out. Check our loadout here. Got the last go. Oh, we've got the sniper. So we can actually use the shotgun and then just use the sniper for longer range shots. Let me just check what we have. We also have the launcher here. We have a bunch of stuff we could have sold off. We forgot to sell off our stuff. Let's get to killing, sweetheart. Probably better with the sniper, I think. Another nomad up here. Another maniac. Switch back to the shotgun for now for closer range fighting, but I think that might be it. We cleared that out. Didn't quite get enough XP XP for level eleven. white pistol in that ammo box. So I think there is a weapon 
chest up here. Where's the ladder? Up this way. Climbing up the side, right on the side of that ladder. Wasn't expecting uh, enemies to spawn here. I thought they were all cleared out. So just demo so far. I thought there might have been... Oh, here it is. Here's a weapon chest. I thought there was at least one here. What do we have? But another Blood Off Flame Sniper. Very nice. I can use that. Blood Off Assault Rifle. Level 11. Not a big fan of the Blood Off Assault Rifles. They seem a little bit underpowered to bother with, but... I don't have many Assault Rifles at the moment, so I'll keep that for now. Might be worth using... Generally, I just go with the Torg assault rifles most of the time. And with Axton and his bonus explosive damage, maybe the Torg assault rifles will be a good option. Which is good, because I do like the Torg assault rifles, so it'd be good to have a character that can actually get some bonuses with them. So this might be better than my shield. Oh no, I've got a level 9 shield. I'll keep what I have there. My rate is lower than the class mod I'm currently using. So this is a level 8 area, so I'm not expecting... We can sell our stuff. I'm not expecting to find anything too exciting here as far as weapon drops, item drops. How are we doing for ammo? Yeah, ammo looks fine. Bunch of lockers, might find some iridium here. Some junk to sell off. Green shield. Cut rate shield level 8. In that locker. Well, that Lasko's not reloaded. Do we get enemies spawning below, I think? One more enemy. Where is he? Somewhere there. Oh, there he is. I thought I'd keep my keep my turret for the next wave of enemies. So here's the first. Well, that might have been the first boss there, but not quite. Badass Psycho dropped a couple green items. Torg pistol, not bad. And a green grenade. A current grenade's still better. I have to remember to use the grenades. I've been uh, sleeping on the grenades. We've got some weapons here. We already have this skin. I'll keep this tall pistol, level 9. And I'll keep this sniper as well. And that assault rifle. I 
What were we using for a shield? Level 9. Oh, these are both level 8. I won't bother doing the optional the optional challenge to kill the the bosses using particular weapons. Wanna meet my girlfriend? Oh, this is the boss. I was just hiding in the corner. Alright, you mindless gun hands. You're looking for a really hot chick with blue tattoos and mystical powers. So our first boss went down easily at this uh, in this early stage. Let's go ahead and spend the skill point. Now we have been going down this way. Kind of disappointed with preparation. You only get extra 15% shield capacity, 2% of your health regenerating per second. Kind of disappointing. I'm thinking about maybe respecking down a different tree, but I do like uh, some of these other turret skills further down. What do we have on this side? A sentry. Ready increases reload speed. Improves your shield recharge rate and recharge delay. That one's quite nice. A ball. Damaging an enemy cause you to regenerate health for a few seconds. This effect does not stack multiple times. Healing an enemy increases your gun damage. So this tree is actually quite nice. It increases the maximum maximum number of grenades you can carry. In, you gain increased gun damage and melee damage while your shields are depleted. And then, then you get the uh, slag. Slag rounds. So which is the skill? Okay, so this is the skill that gives you the uh, bonus damage. Bonus explosive damage. Reduces recoil as well as damage dealt with grenades and rocket launchers. So there's quite a few skills there. I still need to choose one. So maybe going down the survival tree is not so good. Impact increases gun damage, melee damage. Expertise increases your weapon swap speed, aim speed, and also your movement speed. So impact seems quite good. Increases magazine size, kill skill, killing an enemy, dramatically increases your fire rate and recoil. While your saber turret is deployed, you deal increased damage. Well, that one seems quite nice as well. Your saber turret can be deployed using longbow technology. That's a good one. Maybe this tree is a better one to go down. At least up to here to get this longbow skill and this, this one. Duty calls increases gun damage and fire rate of non-elemental guns. Makes you better at just about everything, Ranger. Gun damage accuracy, critical hit damage. Okay, so you get just a bunch of little skill boosts. Then the nuke deploying your saber turret sets off a small nuclear blast. So it probably would be good to go down to at least like halfway down this tree. That seems quite good. So I might respec at some point, but for now let's put a point into one of these. Weapon spot swap speed, aim speed, movement. Also movement speed is increased while aiming. Not sure how useful that one is. Weapon swap and aim speed. Let's go for this one. And I might, uh, next time I'm near a uh, respecking station, I might just respect the points out of the survival tree. Try the other one.
out of ammo already for the shotgun. I guess we don't have any ammo upgrades at the moment, so going to be a little bit more cumbersome with the ammo. Two nomads, one after the other. Another one. Let's deploy this turret, get some use out of the turret. Should have waited for more enemies. There's only here. Only can sprint. And didn't, didn't realise only could sprint like that. I guess I can kill him with a sniper rifle, but I'm not gonna get the bonus because I didn't kill the oh, I've got no sniper rifle ammo left anyway. Oh we got an emperor. What is this thing like? Lying Emperor? I'm not sure if this is even better than the Lasco. 45 damage. Fire rate's not great either. Let's try it out. See how it goes. Maybe a little bit more accurate than the Lasco. I don't think the Emperor is all that great though. So I guess the only dropped that Emperor. See if there's any ammo up this way. Oh, there's plenty of ammo in this corner. We'll try this Emperor a little bit. Kinda seem just on a quick look there, seems like the Lasco might have been might be more useful anyway. Okay, so you can full auto this uh, weapon. Nothing hidden in that corner. Maybe get some iridium from here. Not this time. Shields, explosive spike shields, level 8. I'll pick those up to sell. Oh, my inventory is full, so I can't pick those up to sell. This might be the first legendary that we've come across this run. I'm trying to think if I've had any other ones so this might be it the first our first legendary was this emperor all right before we do the next bit i'll take a short break and i'll be right back <laughs> 